What inspired me was the fact that I'm just a funny dude. Like I've been, um, I've always uh, been able to tell stories the way I want to, and you know I can always make somebody basically feel as though they were there when it happened. So a friend of mine told me, he said, "Yo, man, you tell good stories, you should be a stand-up comic." You know, and I was like, "Nah, I tried." And then here I am, 11 years later. Sucked. First time I performed, I'll never forget. It was a lady in the front, and she just yelled out, Don't worry, you'll be funny one day. And I was pissed off because I was like, Ma, you roll here with me. And my mother just crushed my face. Favorite comedy special? Death Comedy Jam. Watch the series. That's, that's it's like reading the history book. That's why I look at you know. Um, that's why I grew up under. That's what inspired me to do it. I, these new specials nowadays, uh, they're good, but nothing beats nothing beats the, the essence of black comedy, which I thought was Def Comedy Jam. I like to say Martin. Martin is definitely my all-time favorite sitcom. Uh, Sketch, uh, Mad TV. Um, Mad TV is dope. I would say two. I would have to pick between um, Life, with uh, Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy and um, Bad Boys. You gotta go with Bad Boys. Spunky Robinson. I could go on tour with anybody, it'd be Spunky Robinson. You definitely gotta go with uh, Robin Harris. Definitely gotta go with Robin Harris being one of them. I think that um, Eddie Murphy would be number two. Uh. <laughs> Eddie Murphy would be number two. Number three would be Mike Epps. Number four would be Talent. And number five would be... Um, he'd kill me if I didn't say this. My man Big E. In five years, I see myself uh, basically doing, doing a comedy movie. Uh, probably directing. I have an idea of um, remaking so, sort of like a Harlem's Nights. You heard this first from me. Uh, remaking like almost like a, a modern day Harlem Nights, but it would be more up to date. Um, and um, basically bringing my, my voice and, and touching everybody in, in different uh, states of the country. Writing, writing, tapping into more writing, uh, tapping into more writing, and then. Um, I guess I guess uh, putting together like a team, you know, on radio. Um, I'm, I'm a radio personality as well, so you know, bringing radio back. I mean, bringing comedy back to radio because a lot of a lot of on air personalities try to be funny, but bringing that homegrown, uh, you know, uh, funny back to the like how Ricky Smiley has it, you know, um, Steve Harvey has it. Bringing that back back to uh, radio. Everybody can find me, uh, follow me on Instagram at I am Ace Brown. That's I am Ace, like you playing cards, Brown. And um, I follow you back, man. I, I'm, I'm big on just communicating with everybody, so don't be alarmed if I say happy birthday or like some pics and comments. Favorite joke a comic has ever written has to be my daughter. Has to be my daughter. She is three years old, love my baby to death. Um, my oldest daughter is funny too, but she didn't write this joke, but my daughter wrote this joke and it goes knock knock And you say who's there? She says Zori Say Zori who? She says Zori Brown. It's me. That's the funniest joke ever. I can't beat that. That joke is hilarious. Every time she say it, she do, hey Zori Brown. It's me. That's it. Just networking. I think networking is, is key. You know what I mean? So being able to network and uh uh, reach out to other comics in different parts. That's how that's how you build. Because other than that, if you're sitting there waiting by phone, you'll never you'll never get the phone call. Hey man, what's going on? It's your man Ace Brown. Check me out on cutiepod.com. All right. If you have not subscribed to it, liked it, did whatever, then you are wrong. Go ahead, and make sure you follow it on all social media platforms, and that's how you can find me. You can find this interview, and if you're already watching it, then. Make sure you click on the notification. QtPod.com. Ace Brown.